in the second row over here on two, fourth seat. Ty, Jason Lloyd, Akron Beacon Journal. Is, if Kevin can't go, is, is Timo a possibility? And when you look at the success the Thunder had going big against this team with, with Steven Adams and Serge Ibaka, it, it, can that be duplicated with Timo and, and Tristan Thompson? Um, you know, Timo has to be ready. Um, it's a chance and opportunity for him to play. We've talked about that as the staff. And, um, you know, he just has to be ready to play. And um, we'll see what happens from there. Joe, in the front. Joe Varden, Gleam.com. Ty, as you know, after game one, the discussion was you guys just need to play a little better. Mm -hmm. um, but now that you've had two games that, that didn't go well, I mean, can we expect to see something schematically that's radically different or even marginally different than what we saw? He has to play better. <laughs> just, you know, being at home, they, they won two, two games on their home floor, and we're confident in coming back home here. We haven't lost all playoffs. We played very well. And our guys understand that. I mean, they're a good team. That's why they won 73 games this year. And they play well at home. And they had two good games. And now we've got to come home and protect our home court. How do you, because um, you're right, I mean, they only won their games at home uh, so far in this series. But you're talking about the best regular season team in history, uh, record-wise. And the numbers historically are not good when you fall behind 2-0. How much of that creeps into this, to your team's psyche? And what do you have to do to, to keep that out of it? I mean, it's so, history is, is something that's made to be broken. So we're not worried about being down 2-0. Um, it's not over until the team wins four games, and we know that. And we just got to execute. You know, when we get chances on, on the break to, to convert, we got to convert. When we get open shots, we got to take advantage of open shots. And we just can't turn the basketball over like we've been doing. And, you know, if they turn the ball over 20 times, which is good, in our home building, we should be fine and get out and run and play with pace. But we're not discouraged. You know, they won two games, and the series is not over until you win four. Jermaine, back left. Jermaine Franklin with TSN. Uh, Coach, uh, how would you assess LeBron's play in the first two games, and what more can he do if there is more he can do? Well, just be aggressive. You know, stay in attack mode, be aggressive, uh, making the right plays like he's done all season. And, you know, we just got to be able to convert in transition. It's not about LeBron. I have to do a better job. Our players have to do a better job. We have to play better, and they understand that, and we will. Are we going to the right? Yep. Ty, Tim Reynolds with the AP. To kind of play off Joe's question a little bit more, the numbers were actually, they looked worse for Golden State just a couple weeks ago when they were down 3-1. Do you bring that up with your guys at all, or, you know, today, yesterday, tomorrow, as far as just how quickly a series can change and the whole outlook of a series can change, just as they showed a couple weeks ago? <laughs> yes, we talked about it. You know, they were down 3-1. I think they lost a, um, games three and four in Oklahoma City by 50 some points combined. So, and they came back and it just went in one game. You know, when you win one game, it changed the whole series. And they was able to go home and win game five, then win game six in Oklahoma City and come home for a game seven. So, you know, we're not in that bad of shape as they were. You know, 3-1 is worse than 2-0. And they came back and took it one game at a time like we have to do. But like I said, we're confident and we're home and we haven't lost a playoff game here either. So we're going to be ready to play tomorrow. Second row. Marla Ridenauer, Akron Beacon Journal. Have you or will you talk to Kyrie about playing less isolation style and do you, how important do you think that is to you guys in game three? I just talked about talking to Kyrie just about attacking. You know, attacking early on in the shot clock. Don't let the switching, you know, make it stagnant. But he's one of the players that we have on our team that can go one-on-one -on -one because they're switching one through five. But he has to make sharp, quick moves. And um, he understands that. But we need Kyrie to be aggressive. So he's a scorer. He's a special player. He has a, the best handle in the NBA. So he's able to play ISO basketball. But he's got to make quick decisions. And he understands that.